So I've been woodworking, making, a, probably about two years now. And my end goal is not to be a master craftsman, master of anything. Definitely not trying to be a fine woodworker. I so respect fine woodworkers, but um, I really wanna show people that anything that they'd like to make, they can make it also. I'm Erin Longfellow. Um, my business is Maker Gray, and we're here in Austin, Texas. My shop is located in my two-car garage. I love where I live. We just moved out of a condo, kind of more downtown Austin, into um, more of a suburbia area. Man, it works out awesome. It's so nice because in my old place, I only had a one-car garage, and now I've got a two-car garage and much more space to move out. It feels like I'm in a mansion now. I make just about everything. Anything that I need, I try and make it. And I try to keep things super approachable, um, more in the DIY realm. Um, and I wanna make things to where people can look at them and feel like they can make them also. My favorite project that I've done is the house that we just sold. I did a bunch of home renovation stuff. And that is the most satisfying to me. I love seeing the before and after that, taking a space that hasn't had any love for a long time and totally giving it a fresh new look, updating it, making it more modern is so rewarding. It's totally my favorite. So I'm showing people how I make everything with my YouTube videos, Instagram, social media, but mainly my YouTube videos. I have how-to tutorials on YouTube, showing them the whole process of everything that I make. I've always been an artist. I've done art my whole life. My mom's an artist. I grew up painting and drawing. Um, and I went to art school in college and ultimately became a photographer and I was a professional photographer for years. And when we bought our last house, we needed some things. And I started with a workbench and I was like, we need a workbench in our garage. I found some very simple two by four plans online and made a workbench. And I, after that thought I can make anything. And so that kind of led me down a rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos. And I found this whole world of people teaching other people how to make things. And I realized I could merge my love of photo and video with building and my passion was born from there. I love seeing the things that I've made around my house and I can make things for my friends and family and it's so satisfying. So I made this maple coffee table last year and the inspiration I had for it, I wanted these shaped legs and I could not figure out how to build those and I finally settled on plywood and I love them because it almost feels like it's wicker but it's, it's super unusual and, and I love it. Solid maple top. We really wanted some art up here on this wall and I thought of making this shelf and it's, man, it's, it's so easy for anybody to make and it's something we get the most compliments on because we're able to display stuff like we weren't able to before. So this little build is something I, I really do use every day. I love this thing. I sit here all the time. I work here sometimes. I definitely sit here and watch some TV, work on my computer. And it is so nice to have a place to put whatever your beverage is and have a place for it to sit where it's not gonna fall. And then randomly, I found these little coasters that just totally fit in there. And that was a happy accident. It's crazy. I haven't really thought about this little small space before and how much I made for it. There's four things that I, use and value daily in this one little corner of our house. And that's, that's really cool to me. I love making stuff for my space. It started out as um, not being able to afford all the things we wanted to fill our new house. And then it's now become, I'd much rather make it than buy it. This is the vertical laptop dock I made. I needed it really badly because I was always docking my computer into my monitor, but I was taking up so much real estate on my desk with my laptop laying flat. So I finally decided, man, it'd be really cool if I had something just to hold it vertically so I could still 
stop to it that it was out of the way and this was my solution and this thing has been so awesome. Things that inspire me are seeing minimal, modern builds and renovations that I'd want in my own home. I feel like my home is my own play canvas. That's really my jam. There's a lot of really good local restaurants, food trucks, restaurants all around Austin. So we, we like to often go out and um, experience those. We like to go to local places. We, there's a lot of really good places to eat in Austin that are local. There's so many that it's almost a problem because we can't go to all of them. So when we can, we like to try it and go different local places around. There's lots of obstacles in any job you have, um, even in the best jobs, which I consider mine to be one of the best. But I think probably one of the biggest obstacles I can think of is when you work for yourself, you have nobody to answer to but yourself. You gotta get up every day, you gotta make it happen, especially when it's still a side hustle. You don't have time off. You gotta make it happen so you can live that dream. I'm so fortunate. I have so much support. I have an amazing wife who is extremely supportive. She's especially supportive of the fact that I'm still working a nine to five job. And then I, in the evenings, come out and do this. The weekends, I come out and do this. I'm out in my workshop building. She totally sees how happy it makes me. She sees the end goal and, and she's completely supportive, as is the rest of my family and my friends. I think that's so important and I'm very fortunate that way. because I thought that the color gray was kind of, I thought it was synonymous with modern, minimal design. Grays, whites, blacks, I love the color gray. But also it was a nod to the, one of the most amazing souls in my life I've ever known, my gray dog, my Weimaraner, Jada, that I actually have tattooed on my arm, who has made a major impact on my life. It made sense to me. The color gray for her and for modern design, and that's the kind of aesthetic I want in my business. So that's where my name was born. Oh yeah, I absolutely want to continue doing this. One of my favorite things to do in my pastime would be making movies, and now I get to make a movie of the things I'm building. And it's so fun to me. People say, well, what's your favorite part? And I'm like, man, I, I love the filming. I love the editing. I obviously love the making. I love the sharing it. I'm one of those weird people that loves every part of it. And I still can't believe that I have found my dream job. I'm glad you got that Diane Sawyer lighting on me, Justin. It looks good. How'd you get eggs on your nose?